Well, April can't come soon enough, Kevin. Yeah, that's right. But uh, maybe we should wait on April. I don't know. You'll see what I'm talking about here. We've got radar and satellite now showing. Of course, we've got more sunshine in northern plains. That's nice. But we do have a system lurking to the west here, and a part of that will be breaking off into the northern plains as yet another surface system forms in Colorado the next day or two. That will increase our chances for some snow. But inclement weather once again for the western United States. It's the same old pattern all winter long. These powerful systems sweep through here, and it does look like a severe weather episode for the southern plains come Friday. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that. All right, here we go. Cold air, but not the center of the cold for tonight. As we were so far below zero, that'll be displaced farther toward the east into eastern North Dakota and into Minnesota, Wisconsin. That's where that surface high is here. The farther it gets away, the milder it gets. More of that southerly wind uh, increasing. We've already had that for today, so that alone means it won't be nearly as cold for tonight. The first warm viewing area, I'm not looking at sub-zero temperatures, maybe around Jamestown, but again, uh, mainly off toward the east and even milder weather back through Montana. Look at the temps right now. We're at 38 in Baker and in Buffalo, 20 degrees in Bismarck. You see the trend here. The farther away we are or farther west, it's a milder, but still near 20 degrees over central and eastern North Dakota. It'll be cold, no doubt, but not to the extreme that we had earlier today. It's all about that wind here, not too strong over uh, the central and eastern portion of the state, or uh, 5 to 15 miles per hour. A little bit more of a breeze here in the Mondak region, uh, far western North Dakota, and even western South Dakota. Winds approaching about 20 miles miles per hour. Now let's talk about next week. Now normally I don't talk about something uh, to this extent a week out, but this does look to be a little bit more promising, something that uh, the first one weather team, we're really analyzing this very closely. Lots going to change. This is not an exact science, but it's in that preparation stage. Early April might smack us with a storm, and this is what I'm talking about. This is not going to play out exactly like this, but we look for the overall trend. The surface low itself, that's not even going to form until early next week, but it's the capable or the pattern that is capable of producing a surface low that could give us this end result. This is a snapshot all the way through the weekend. This is next Monday night. Chances for snow developing here in South Dakota, Montana, advancing through North Dakota. Widespread snow is the potential should the storm as forecast to remain on this track. Again, it's going to change, but it could result in some travel delays, especially over central and eastern North Dakota and South Dakota. This could could be a major system. I hope it goes away. I, it's not going to go away, but I hope at least it doesn't uh, trek toward North Dakota. But that looks to be the trend right now and the conditions improving, but not until the later portion of next week, later, later portion of next week here, but we're talking about late next week. So the impactful snow potential, again, really towards central and eastern North Dakota. The way it looks now, a lot of meteorologists are really focused on this uh, possibility on the way. Meanwhile, for tomorrow, some single digits, but afternoon temps will be into the upper 20s and low 30s. East winds of 10 to 20. Seven day forecast we know about next week, but for this system this week, a lot less impact, but maybe one to three inches of snow. Well, 30 sounds good. It does, right? No, 40 for Sunday, too. All <laughs> right. Yeah. Thanks.